Hey everyone, it's Kristen Burt for The Web Files, and welcome to our Halloween special. Now today, we're at Obscure Artifacts in Van Nuys, where all of the creepy demons for MWG Entertainment's new horror web series, Camera Obscura, were created. Not only do we get a behind the scenes look, but we might have a ghoulish visitor or two. <laughs> all right, Drew Daywalt, writer and director of Camera Obscura, fantastic for joining us here on our Halloween episode. We're pretty excited about that because it is our first real exploration of the whole horror genre with web series. So what was your inspiration for Camera Obscura? Uh, well, Camera Obscura is a story about a woman who uh, is cleaning out her grandfather's house after he dies. Mm -hmm. um, he raised her, and uh, she's going through all his stuff from when he was alive, and she ends up finding a camera that can capture demons. I've always been fascinated with the fact that uh, certain tribes of people think that when you get your picture taken it steals your soul. And I always thought, well that'd be interesting if that was used as a weapon in a paranormal setting. So what made you think, okay, I'm going to do the whole horror sh story, but I'm going to do it in a web series format? Uh, well, I actually come from a, a horror troupe. It's like a comedy troupe, but mm -hmm. we do horror. It's called Fudio, mm -hmm. and Fudio has done 35 short form horrors. Originally we were told that, you know, you can't do horror short form. You need 90 minutes of build up to right. get the big scare. Um, but what we realized is horror takes its roots in short form. Uh, Camera Obscura is, uh, it lays out in a serial format, like the old serial films that the kids would go see in the 30s on every Saturday morning, you know, the guy's gonna jump over the cliff. Is he gonna make it? See you next week. Um, dun dun. Dun dun. And, and horror lends itself really well to that, you know, because the person right. opens the door before we reveal credits. What did you find were your main challenges? Everything that I've learned as a screenwriter, I had to throw out the window because three act structure wasn't going to work and mm -hmm. um, sitcom model wasn't going to work. Right. These things weren't going to play. Um, so, what we wanted to do was create each one as an act one, act two, act three with a cliffhanger. And hello, Jack Klugman. Yes, Jack Klugman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how did you get him to do a web series? <laughs> we sent him the script and we expected it to sort of go away. We got the call literally the next day and they said Jack wants to do it. So I went to meet with him um, and uh, when I spoke to him I said, you know, Jack, it's, I looked at your IMDb page and you haven't done anything paranormal since the Twilight Zone, the pool game. Mm -hmm. And he gave me like the nicest compliment of my life, which is, well, that's the last time I had a script this good. <laughs> so, you know. Very good. <laughs> Well, we're going to bring in other people to talk about your series and uh, find out how the, all the pieces came together to create horror web series. <laughs> oh. All right, so speaking of the collaboration, this is a part of the collaboration. Yep. We've got Sarah Evershed, Director of Distribution for MWG Entertainment. Now, how did this partnership come about? Good question. Our VP of uh, Development, Robert Candle, actually found a Fudio short online and was just blown away instantly. And she said, you know, I have had this idea kind of floating around and it really impressed everybody and we just started the, the collaboration that way. So you guys were actively seeking a horror web series? Um, we were actively seeking web series. We weren't, um, MWG's main focus is that it's female targeted content. Mm -hmm. Right. And so, you know, it would maybe seem natural to do another comedy, but when we saw this and, and Drew pitched this idea and it was, had this strong female lead, um, you know, it just seemed to make sense. Obviously, you guys are coming from My Two Fans and Road to the Altar. Mm -hmm. How are you going to market, uh, you know, Camera Obscura? It's definitely going to be different. We're yeah. definitely taking a different approach. Um, they're very different creatures, <laughs> if you will. And, um, <laughs> literally. Quite literally. literally. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you go from pure one to... <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So, yeah, you know, with Road to the Altar, we had sort of the brand integration and Jaleel White and Lena, and it was very... Those were sort of the angles that we took. And with Camera Obscura, it's, the demons and Drew are really kind of our stars and the cast is phenomenal and so I think Drew's style is so unique mm -hmm. and I think it would be very inspiring to people to really see like you can do this 
Especially horror, since yeah, we're not seen, we haven't seen a lot of it yet. And I think for you guys as a production studio, it's really something unique and interesting. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, you guys, thank you for joining us. Thank we have thank you. More. We more. do have more because you know what? We didn't create these, did we? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Corpulence made an appearance and uh, Jeff Harley. Welcome, you guys. Hi there. Now, you're the creator of Corpulence. Yes. 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 You have Drew's ideas. How do you sort of flesh those ideas out? I mean, are you sketching and then you start creating? Well, I'm glad you asked. Oh! <laughs> because basically when I was asked to step in, uh, being a 13th level demon from hell, uh, Drew said, you know, we've got this series we're doing. And Jeff was like, I could create you. And I said, no, thank you. I'm a man of my own. How do you bring corpulence to life? Um, well, in this case, uh, luckily through uh, a suit that I had already lying around from another show because... What? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no. <gasps> oh no, I just gave away a huge... <laughs> no a very secret. green studio. I, I think I've been fired. <laughs> uh, but no, um, no, actually, sometimes you have to pull things off the shelf to make sure that you can really focus the attention to detail and to the areas that need it. The suit itself works very well for what it is. Um, and we figured it should have a second life. And now that you've worked on a web series, do you sort of see a whole future with yeah. special effects, you know, Absolutely, makeup and of course. I've actually been involved in one other project so far, as well as um, I'm sure other stuff is coming down the road. <laughs> well, I want to thank you guys for joining us because this has really been a fantastic look at a new genre that we're excited to see, but, you know, we <coughs> haven't really seen the whole special effects makeup before, so I'm really excited that we got to meet all of the demons. Thank you very Especially much. Especially you, Corpulence. Thank you. Hey, right back at you, sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> so, Corpulence, what did you think of our Halloween episode? Well, I thought it was very good, and uh, I'm I'm really impressed with your with your hosting skills. I, I have to say, I think you're a wonderful interviewer. Well, thank you. No, I appreciate really, that. No, seriously, I think I think you're spot on. You ask the really, you know, pre-scripted questions really well, and I think you stay on track with the you know, be polite to the talent kind of concept. Fantastic, so I'm mediocre at best, right? No, I think you're a cut above the rest. I mean, I think, I think you're rest. fantastic. <laughs> well, you know what? Speaking of cut, this episode of The Web Files is now closed. I'm Kristen Burt. We'll see you next time. <laughs> I'm the host of a web series. I've only been in one, all right? Gosh. Me, 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 me. I can take care of that job. I can talk to these people. I think we're going to need a new host audition. <laughs>